Earthquakes, tsunamis, wars, ours is a world of uncertainties and uncertainty is the enemy of business. So I guess on day one of 2024, the question to ask is this, what will this year bring for the economy, the Indian economy in particular? Tonight, we look at the numbers, the trends and the projections. The last year had its share of shocks, but India remained resilient. It was the world's fastest growing major economy. Growth remained steady. Inflation was a worry for a while, but it's largely been contained. And the year ahead looks good. Let's start with the basic indicators. How are the growth numbers looking for India? Positive. By all indications, India will maintain its growth momentum. I have three projections, in fact, from leading financial institutions. The International Monetary Fund, or the IMF. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or the OECD. And the World Bank. Now, all three agencies forecast strong growth for India. They say India's growth rate will be above 6%. For the third straight year, India will remain the world's fastest growing major economy, faring way better than most others. And what's driving this growth? Domestic demand, it is high, and foreign investment is rising. FDI or, the, or foreign direct investment in India rose to a 21-month high. It almost touched $6 billion in October 2023. The stock markets are breaking records. We told you about this last week. 2023 was a banner year for Indian stocks. They crossed the $4 trillion mark, making India a stock market superpower. So that's a vote of confidence in Indian corporates. The rupee remains largely stable. Foreign reserves have also shot up. India's Reserve Bank now holds more than $620 billion in its coffers. Again, this is a 21-month high. $620 billion. Why does this matter? Because high reserves are like an insurance policy against external shocks. They act like a cushion, sort of like an emergency fund. And this is a fund uh, that countries can use during a crisis. So India's current reserves can cover more than 10 months of imports and 96% of its external debt till June 2023. So net-net, the fundamentals are strong, which is not to say that there are no challenges. There are challenges. The first one, of course, is jobs. It is a sore point. The last year was the year of layoffs. In November 2023, the unemployment rate was at 9.2%. The tech sector has seen the worst bloodbath. More than 200,000 techies lost their jobs last year. That's 40% more than 2022. Even in the final days of 2023, companies were announcing layoffs. A few days ago, Paytm sacked 1,000 employees. What explains these waves of sackings? Most companies are looking to cut costs and reduce their workforce. New innovations like AI are also a factor. So will the year ahead be better for the job market in India? The disruption is expected to continue, but new jobs will also be generated slowly and une une unevenly though. Indian corporates are looking to hire. Going by one claim, about 3.9 million jobs will be added in the next few months. And they'll mostly be in two sectors, logistics and mobility. They're seeing the maximum demand, so they will add jobs. But 3.9 million would be barely scratching the surface. India needs many more jobs. And it remains a serious challenge. Plus, there are external challenges like global conflicts, especially the one in West Asia. It could have a direct impact on inflation. Imports could become costlier. Exporters may struggle to move their goods. So far, the impact has been contained and limited. And in recent years, we've seen this. India has demonstrated remarkable resilience. The world has witnessed unprecedented events and a series of crises. A once-in-a-century pandemic, two unexpected conflicts, an economic slowdown, and geopolitical pressures. We've seen all of it. Throughout, India has managed the shocks and kept growing in a tough environment. He is hoping that 2024 is even better.